All right, right here we have a reciprocating arm tool with a circular cutter on it. We have two flathead screwdrivers, plastic pry bar, safety equipment, including ears and eyes, some dikes, wire stripper, wire crimper, the little blue, what do they call them? Female quick disconnects, uh, then the butt connectors, a bit of wire, soldering iron, wire for the soldering iron, silicone, this is supreme silicone, black, 100% silicone, the silicone applicator, a Dremel tool with a little cutting or I guess a shredding disc on it, a wonder cutter which is an ultrasonic cutter, multimeter, multimeter and the board. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So to get the light open you're going to use your reciprocating tool and you're going to cut along this entire edge here. And eventually, after lots of cutting and lots of patience, you'll be able to pop this piece out. And so this is the inside of your headlight. Now be very careful not to touch this with your... You can't really see it in the light. Okay. So now we're just gonna take a Sharpie. A paint pen would be better, but we're gonna draw the line of where we want to cut. So for this section right here, you're gonna to wanna to follow the angle that the light is always at. So this light is kind of coming off like this. So when you're cutting, you wanna cut at that same diagonal. So starting off here, we're gonna go in here, I'm gonna come down here, same process down here. You're gonna follow the angle of the light when you're cutting. I'm gonna go across here. This is the easy section down here where it gets difficult is in this area. So over here, we're going to come and kind of where this point is at the end, this little V where this point came in, we're gonna come along and we're just gonna kind of follow that. Now, if you look really closely, I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera, but there is a really thin line that kind of sits in the middle of these two. And so if I continue drawing, you'll kind of be able to see in general what I'm talking about. Okay, now up here, you're going to be cutting along this section right here. So you kind of have to be down in here, but you're gonna follow the line of this piece on in here. So I'm not gonna really draw on that because you can't see that. Then over here, we're just gonna finish this up to that line right there. Okay, and then this section, you're also gonna kind of follow into where the crack is right here, where those two panels join, but it does come in a little bit. And again, you can kind of see that line, but not, probably not on camera. And then that's as far as I can draw. Um, so Cole's gonna get started here with the Dremel tool uh, with the uh, curved edge here. So see how the lens comes off this way? When I'm cutting with the rotary tool, I want it to be at the same angle that the lens is coming off.
So we're on to this cut right here, which is getting into the more complex cuts. In order of operation, you should probably start from this corner and run your way up over into here. Now, once you get over into here, you can match up these two cuts and you're just gonna kind of run down the exact middle of here. And you should be good now. If you'll see, I can put a light right here and you can see where the red's coming through. That means you're in the right spot because that means you're between the lens, but you're not impacting the silver part. Uh, is it attached right there? Yep. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little part of the silver right in there, that part that's from where the red is. Tom's gonna point it out right there. Yeah, right here. So that'll actually be stuck under here a little bit. Um, so you might have to pry it a little bit to get it around. But if you do pull from the adjacent side, from the other side, it should just pop out. So we trimmed up a little hole in there for this, and now we're just gonna pop it in. There it goes, popped in. And then this would just set right back in there. And then you get something that looks like that. Nice. 